One thing that I found out a few years ago is that less than 2% of VC money was given to female business owners. And that really struck me. I was like, that's crazy. And then also, I also found that, that even less than that was given to uh, African American and Latino um, business founders. And me fitting both of those, I just felt like, you know, it's really interesting that we are just quite frankly being overlooked and undervalued. In a pitch meeting, we, I, lo I, I look at the founder. If the founder is really interested and really involved and really love what they do and feel like they have a product that can make a big difference or solve different issues, that is the first most foremost thing. Then obviously after that, we look at the product that the uh, founder is offering. For me, it's really important to connect to the founder because we've been had some wonderful opportunities, but we just felt like the founder either didn't have the same um, standards that we liked, the same motivations. Um, and for us, it was like we want to set a precedent of this is what we want our the, our firm to do and what we the companies that we look at. So as, as long as they fit those two bills and they make it to the next stage and obviously it has to be practical. <laughs> you know, there's we get a lot of ideas that are amazing, but they're not as practical. Um, but that is not a bad thing. It just means to go back and try again. When I think about legacy, I don't think too much into it. I've always been a person that put values first above anything. And I feel like my legacy should start with values, my beliefs. Um, and then a lot of people are saying, what you do on the court is amazing, but I feel like that's just the beginning. And I like to remember it for things that I do off the court, uh, lives that I've been able to impact and um, been able to just, you know, let other voices be heard through mine.